Uh, welcome back my dear students, dear participants uh, who, is, who are watching this lecture and who have taken this course. It is titled Multi Criteria Decision Making under NPTEL MOOC series. 12 weeks, 60 lectures, each week we have 5 lectures and each lecture being for half an hour. And my good name is Raghunandan Singhupta from the IMA department at IIT Kanpur. So, this is the 46th lecture and we are discussing about the different non-parametric methods. We have started and finished topsis method. We are in the process of discussing the electro method. And, in the, and the coverage is the electro method which we already started. We have discussed about what is the concept of concordance set, discordance set, how the concordance index, discordance index, the distance concepts, what are the steps we have already started. We will continue with the problem as solved. And as usual, the excel sheet will be utilized in order to make things much more clear. Now, we were considering the con different concept of indices for the on the sets. Now, the concordance set between two alternatives is only comprising the alternative not of the criteria and another thing do not confuse the value of C K L which is given here as criteria. No, they are the concordance index and similar or the set. Similarly, the discordance concept will be discussed by with and given the symbol of capital D. Now, the concordance set between two alternatives A K and A L, I am comparing the alternatives where the K and L are any values between 1 to M because if you remember M is the number of alternatives which you have is defined as the set of all criteria for which a k is preferred not a l. So, if it is good c would be populated with those um, criteria for each a k l is better. Now, the better would be in a very simple sense it is greater than some sort of thing and we will be utilizing that from that value which you have found from y. What was y? y matrix was multiplied multiplicative values which we formulated and found out by multiplying the weights and the normalized matrix. So, we will put C k as all these j. Now, j k values are all the criteria. So, if you remember criteria have been mentioned as n. So, it will be j is equal to 1 to n for all these cases. So, I take the first value of j as 1 for criteria 1 compare a k and a l. If it is better, I put in the concordance set. Second one, is not better. So, obviously, I will not be criteria is not better, I do not put it in the concordance set and I continue accordingly. And now, if you remember in the last class, we were discussing about the concept of overestimation, inter, in, in, underestimation, I gave the example of the dam and I said that underestimation is more problematic, more concern than overestimation and I do, did mention that there can be examples where Overestimation is more a problem than underestimation. Example, consider again from very simple electrical engineering, there is a huge electrical circuit and there are very high ended trip switch vacuum circuit breakers, where the average life is say for example, 6 months. After before 6 months, you have to definitely change them. After 6 months, changing them may be catastrophic because if an accident happens. People are working and the average life is 6 months. So, if you try to replace that and consider the value has been in one case, case 1 estimated as 4 months rather than 6 and another case it has been estimated as 8 months not 6. In both the cases, the difference is 2 plus 2 and minus 2. If I consider the square, it is 4 plus 4 in both the cases. So, if, if considering the concept of quadratic such loss overestimate underestimation, it does not make any sense because we are equally giving weightages. But what happens practically? Underestimation means I stop the work, change it at the end of the fourth month. So, work stoppage happens, man hours lost, but the probability of an accident happen is minimal. If I consider stop the work and I try to do it after six months, eight months, then obviously the work continuity is there, stoppage is less, but the probability of a catastrophic loss happening, some accident happening is much more. So, in this case underestimation is better than overestimation because overestimation is more penalized. So, in the same case when we are considering the concordance set, I will consider the real line 
on to the right is better, on to the left is not be better. Now, the difference moving from the mean point on to the right or the left with the concordance on the right and the discordance which we will consider later, and later on the left, if they are equally dispersed of equal length, then we are considering that overestimation, underestimation some sort of thing is happening where they are giving equal weightage. If I change the distance on the right or the left accordingly, then obviously it will mean that I am not giving equal weightages. So, first we will consider equal weightages. So, let me read it. The blue part of the line is the relevant portion of the concordance set between A k and A l for the jth criteria and in that case j as you know is 1, 2, 3, 4 till n, n is the number of criteria. Now, the discordance concept is basically between two alternatives A k and A l in the same case where I will only place those alternatives which in which case A k is not preferred with respect to A l. So, I will put in that set D and if you remember I have mentioned D k L would be the discordance set and capital C k L is the concordance set, C is not the criteria. So, here the red part if you see on the arrow is on the left hand side is that part of the line which is relevant for the portion for the discordance set and to repeat I am using equal dispersion onto the right and the left. We will also consider in the same way j is equal to 1 to n, club them into concordance set, club them into discordance set. For each a k and a l, where k and l are elements in the total set of alternatives from 1 to m. So, now let us consider that we are doing it. Now, let us do it here. So, we have the concordance set, I will put a C, then I will basically have. So, I will consider for each J. So, C, let me put it, J is equal to 1, J is basically number of criteria. So, if I put out, so if I am considering the first with itself, so a k and a l are same. If I consider first with itself, the value is true. So, hence I will put, because if it is true, I put in the concordance set. So, I put a 1 in j is equal to 1. When I consider the next one, I am flipping between the slide and the um, uh, excel sheet, but pay attention on the excel sheet. So, I will consider that for J, C j is equal to 1, a 1 which is the alternative 1 falls in the concordance set. When I go to the fact of j is equal to 2, so I am going to consider correspondingly each of these values. So, j is equal to 2, I will put it and I also consider this j is equal to 3. So, if I consider the values. So, I compare this. So, 0 0.083 with respect to 0 0.0625, it is good. So, in that case, the value of the alternative criteria 2, which I am considering, would put a value such that. So, if I am comparing alternates so this one, these two for j is equal to again 1. So, 0 0.125 is better than point value wise is 0 0.083. So, obviously, in that case the discordance because I am losing something in trying to uh, take the decision as a 1. So, it will be coming in the discordance set. So, if it comes to the discordance set, so I have to basically make discordance values also. Uh, wait, this should be removed. This 
it's not required. So D mm -hmm. my mistake just we find any as D is one. So in that case A two goes here when I come come consider 0 0.083 with 0 0.04. So, obviously, this is bad preferred. So, this would come in the set accordingly into the it is preferred. So, obviously, is better. So, with respect to A 1 it is better. When I consider for the second one, so I should move these values on the right. Okay. So, this is A 3 with respect to j is equal to 1. When I consider these values correspondingly, so I am considering for all the alternatives criteria 1. So, obviously, A 1 would be here. So, if I consider 0.25 is better, so I am losing. So, A 2 is here. If I consider 0 0.185, so obviously this is better. So, this goes. When I come to the last one, so we have 0 0.1 with respect to 0 0.05, so 1 1 is same. This is better, so A3 is in this set and 0 0.1 is equal. So, if it is equal, we are indifferent. Now, this concept of indifference means if you remember when you were consider the utility functions of liking disliking or the concept of indifference set or uh, the this uh, concept of risk loving risk hating. So, we had basically clubbed them into three regions liking disliking and indifference. So, indifference is basically I should use a set i and this set I would be uh, made much more clear later on. So, I would consider so here it is a null set I will put the null because there are no elements 1 to a 1 a 2 a 3 are all considered this is null set. And in this case, this is a non not non set because here both are same. So, if I consider A3 and this was basically A2, null set would be now here. So, I have formulated based on the first one when I am comparing A1 to a 1 itself, A 2 itself, A 3 itself, I have this set. So, this is for m is equal to 1 comparison. When I go here, so these values are to be filled up. So, now I will compare 0 0.15, 0 0.15 with respect to 0 0.08. So, I will first basically first make it empty. You have to fill up. So, if I can make it, so I am considering for M2, 0.125 is better than uh, 0.08. So, in this case, A2 is better. In this case, when I compare it with itself, so this is A2 again. And third case, so A1 would go here, so it is not disliked. So, this I will put A1, indifference is when I consider with respect to A3, again this is better. So, A3 would be going here, and this is a null set. When I come here, 
So, I am coming for j is equal to 2 criteria 2. So, again 0.25 with respect to 0 0.0625. So, a 2 is better. So, a 1 will come here with respect to itself 0.25 is better and with respect to third one this is better. So, a 3 will also come and this set. So, this is a null set. When I consider the last column for m is equal to 2, 0 0.05 is less than 0 0.1. So, in this case a 1 is better. This is equal. So, this would basically go with itself when I am comparing. So, this would with itself it is good and the last case again this is good. So, everything would be so in this case discordance because it is the worst 0 0.05. So, it will be null here null here. When I consider it with m is equal to 3, I will remove them. So, when I am considering the last one 0 0.04 with respect to 0 0.4, 0 0.08. So, obviously, a 1 is better. So, and a 3 is not liked because it is low. In the same case, when I come to 0.125, A2 is liked. And in this case, the null set would be here. When I consider the second column with respect to m is equal to 3, this a 3 is better because 0 0.1875 is better than 0 0.0625. Then if I come to A 2 which is 0 0.25 it is not liked goes here and then when I come to correspond to itself so this would be A 3 and a to wait 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 let me recheck calculate it if i have missed anything in this cells i will just recalculate so point a 187 with respect to point 0 065 this is better so a 3 goes in concordance set, then A 2 A so A this will be A 1 and this would be disliked. So, this would be put in the concordance set and this is same it will come to the liking set A 3. So, this becomes null and if I consider A 3 last one these are equal. So, obviously, equality means indifferent if 0 0.1 with 0 0.1. So, it becomes A 1, A 2 is not like so A 2 and becomes A 3. Now, few important points. So, if you consider this set, I will mark blue color here and make it bold, mark blue color here, bold, mark blue color here, bold. And what is important is these. If I am considering any of the alternatives, very interestingly, the set based on which I find on the discordance and then concordance set are never symmetric. 
why not symmetric because if I go here I will try to draw without the electronic pen the line. So, consider this is the line, the line where we are considering on the right hand side left hand side. And I have values like this, this I will put as say for example, blue and the levels I am going. So, levels I am going are on to the right. So, if I consider on to the right some equidistance, and then I consider that on the left again a same equidistance. Let me measure it and put it. Considering these arrows on to the right and left are of same equidistance, but the net values are same different. So, this would be red in color because on to the left and this should be blue in color because on to green in color let me consider this because on the right. So, the liking disliking set based on which I am trying to find out the preferences if they are symmetric which means liking amount disliking amount are the same thing, but if I am putting a value that the liking and the disliking are different it means the equal unequal penalties are being given based on the fact that how the discordance and the and concordance indices based on the liking set C, disliking index set D and I have bought I also here which will become much more uh, understandable when I consider the indifference concept also. So, based on that if I find out the C i and D i for this example, the slides are there please go through that. So, I do all the stepwise calculations for C i, D i go each alternative and for each um, criteria the calculations have been done. So, let me come back to the final set. So, once this comparison has been done alternative with respect to each criteria, then I formulate the concordance and discordance matrices based on the indices. Remember that the relative values of the elements in the concordance matrix, now it is capital C by the way, this is capital C is not criteria, it is capital C based on the values of C, K, L if you remember and K and L are the alternatives. They are based on the calculation of the concordance index. Now, I want to find out that what is the concordance and, and um, discordance index values or the indices values based on which I can formulate the concordance matrix and discordance matrix. If you remember when we are discussing the Hamming distance, I said that if there is a match or more I put plus 1, if there is no match is 0. So, this plus 1 would be added up for all those concordance indexes where the value is more. That means, if two, two criteria give positive value for alternative A 1 with respect to A 2, then obviously, it is benefit twice as benefit or I would not use the word twice because the level of benefits are, are not linear, there is benefit. And if the value of the concordance is not there, discordance is there obviously, it would be a disbenefit. Now, the quantum of uh, concordance and quantum of um, discordance for the initial set of calculation where the length are dispersed are same, we give same weightages. If they are not, we give different weightages. So, what do we calculate? It is the sum of the weights associated with the criteria contained in the concordance set. Now, if you remember we have given the weights and the weights were given as 0.25, 25%, 50%, 25%. Now, more the values of importance are, concordance are, more would be addition of the weights. So, if all of this uh, criteria comparison between A 1 and A 2, every point comes to A 1, which means the total level of importance we want to give for that alternative for all the criteria would be 1. It cannot exceed 1, because I am adding up the weights. 
So, it would mean that for all the concordance injects, I would basically keep adding the weights if they are positive, do not add the weights if they are definitely not positive, they are negative. As the concordance matrix indicates that the relative importance of the alternatives are given, obviously the values of C k L concordance concept would be between 0 and 1 add weights up to add to 1. Now, as I mentioned the concordance matrix which we have formed is asymmetric along the principal diagonal and asymmetric concept would mean that the level of importance and, and, and uh, disliking, liking, disliking are of unequal scales. So, once we have that we have the concordance discordance indices based on which we find out the concordance and discordance matrix. Now, once we add up the values are like this. After we construct the concordance and discordance matrix, the principal diagonal obviously would be 0 because there the level of comparison is only happening with themselves. So, there you cannot add up the weight. So, the principal diagonal is a dash and the of the diagonal element it is asymmetric because if you see is 0 0.25, 0 0.75, here is 0 0.75, 0 0.25, here obviously it is same. Now, what does that mean? It means two things. If I am comparing, I will put uh, some, put this value comparison of these two. So, when I am comparing, it means based on the comparison of the alternatives and of the collective criteria has been already taken into case, then I would be willing to consider, by the way, these are alternatives. So, this one is A1, A2, A3, this is A1, A2, A3. So, when I am considering A1 with respect to A3, the weight is 0 0.75, when I am considering, no sorry, A2, and when I am considering A2 with respect to A1, the weight is 0 0.25. Uh, let me check. No, no, it will be A1 with respect to A2 is 0 0.25 and A2 with respect to A1 is 0 0.75. So, when I consider A1 with respect to A2, I have taken alternative A1, I have not taken A2. So, my overall weightages based on the 100 or 1 unit of weightages which I should give for the criteria, I am only getting a benefit say for example of 25 percent rest 75 percent is lost. But if I come to the concept of trying to decide on A2 with respect to A1 for all the criteria considered together, I am getting the weights benefits for criteria as a 75 percent, 25 is lost. Which means a comparison of A1 and A2, it means that level of importance once would place on A2 with respect to A1 would be 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.25 which will be 3 is to 1. That means, I would be willing to pay, pay more attention to A2 with respect to A1 considering the overall set of criteria which I have. Now, if I come to A3 and A1, A1 both are 50 50. That means, either taking A1 or taking A3, I am giving equal weightages. That means, both ways I am equally balanced. And finally, if I consider the values of A2 with respect to A3, so, A2 gives me a weightages of 75 with respect to A3, I get a, if I take A3, it is 25. Now, interestingly, if I, I will come to the problems in the next class, but if I consider this overall weightages in a, in a very simple format, A2 with S A1, A2 is better. A2 with A3, A2 is better. A1 and A3 both are equally balanced. So, in overall A2 would be better than A1, A2 would be better than A3, but when you are trying to compare A1 and A3, we are equally balanced. So, definitely we can say in a very simple way that the idea of given weightages or more importance to A1 alternative would give me better value with respect to A1 as well as with respect to A3. So, with this I will end this class and continue the discussions about the electro method in more details later on.
Thank you very much.